And they arrived and they were booed. Uh, and their boos, they had, they expected a possibility of boos. So they had their paid clack of supporters there to cheer them along. Which, so that was sort of all right-ish. They didn't like that they were booed. But they walked into the cathedral and absolutely everyone cold-shouldered them in a way that only civilized people can do when they are cold-shouldering people. Nobody caught their eye. You know, it was, it was studiedly unnaturally polite, but freezing cold. And they realized between the booing and the cold shouldering that they got from everybody. Then, and my understanding is that by the time they left, they were absolutely spitting bricks. And then the coup de grace, as far as they were concerned, was not only that they were booed, but while they were waiting for their car, that nobody would speak to them except Zara. Mike Tyndall avoided them like the plague. He made absolutely sure he didn't catch their eye. There's Megan speaking to herself with him f four f inches away from he her. But I also will tell you, they hijacked that car. Did you realize they weren't supposed to be in that car? They were supposed to be in the bus with all of the third tier royals. And the reason why they, they were 15 minutes late for the appointed meeting with at Clarence House to make sure that they would miss the bus so that they would appear later because you know processions are done in order of diminishing or increasing rank. So the least important will go first and the most important will go last entering a building and it's vice versa leaving the building. And they, realizing that they had been lumped with the never was is so much as the has been, they decided that they were going to be late and miss their